reasons you still shouldn't purchase a laptop just for Copilot Plus. So, hey, how about that second wave of Copilot Plus features? Microsoft is adding more tools to its AI-powered range to make them more appealing to customers. Copilot Plus devices are Microsoft being gambled with the AI scene, so it really wants people to click with AI and use it to make their lives better. The only problem is the second wave of Copilot Plus features really hasn't done much for me and I don't think it's going to do anything for anyone else either. So while I held the position that people shouldn't buy a Copilot Plus device for Copilot, here's why I still stand by that judgment even after the second wave. Number one. You don't need AI to make Windows search suck less. There are third-party apps that do it for free. Number two, record is finally here, but is it really worth it? It's the flagship feature, but I'm not excited about it. Number three, Buy a Copilot Plus device for the hardware, not for Copilot Plus. Think of Copilot Plus as an added bonus, or at worst, blood work. Maybe ditch the Copilot and fly solo for this one. If you want to give ARM-based computing a try, there's nothing wrong with getting a Copilot device. Copilot Plus device. You'll have a shiny new Snapdragon X chip in there, and it, it'll do the job just fine. However, despite the new wave of features, I still struggle to recommend that you should get a Copilot Plus for the titular feature. It just doesn't have the wow factor that we were hoping would come with an AI-driven operating system. Stop.